I got a call to come over to the Tiger Creek Wildlife Refuge and check on the traps that I left at an employee's trailer. So Ricky and I are on our way out there to catch us some mice. I'm Jamie Craig and I work at Tiger Creek Wildlife Refuge. I'm really sick of having to be scared at night to walk into my room and find mice. I got them set up all around the refrigerator, the stove here. Check it out. I got one, yeah. Went through the trailer, we found a lot of mice in the kitchen. Oh yeah, look at this guy. All right, Jamie, I set some traps up in your room. I'm gonna go take a look at those. This was the uh, area you were having trouble with over here? Yeah, yep. All right, let's see. Oh, God. Oh, God, it bit me. Rick, help! Rick! Help me, man, it hurts. Get him off me, man. Get him off. Ow! Do I need medical attention? What is it? No, man, I think you're gonna be all right. It's not poisonous. Is that a king snake? It is a king, it's not poisonous. Oh, dude, thank God you came Damn, in here. man, he went right to your glove. Yeah. Damn, he meant yeah, business. Yeah, dude, oh my God. Dude, Look at me, right? I'm freaking shaking, man. Yeah. I, I didn't even check on Jamie. She's probably scared to freaking death. Well, I heard her screaming that there was a snake, but I didn't get it. I, I didn't, <laughs> didn't get what she was talking about. I get it now? So my first initial reaction was that I thought like a mouse, maybe a rat had bit me. It started to come out, I realized I'd been bit by a snake. There's a snake! To think that there was a snake in my room really freaks me out. Oh, God. This thing bit me. He jerked back and locked in on me, and he wasn't letting go. I mean, he was hooked good. It, it got him. We do have a lot of king snakes in Louisiana. They're not thought to be very dangerous because they're not venomous. However, they do eat venomous snakes, and they're great for uh, controlling rodent populations. Here's the culprit. So he's kind of beasty, but we got him and we'll surely get him it, out. It's uh, just a king snake, so I'm okay. I'm not, I wasn't hurt or nothing and he's not dangerous. He was just in there tracking mice. And there was a hole in the corner where the mice had chewed up to get into that bedroom in there. And this uh, king snake had tracked the mice right through the same opening. When I got it, I pinched him and he opened up. His bottom fangs were still in you. I had to I know. Like wedge it, like he, counter dude, his fang I, out. I pissed him off. He bit me yeah. hard, dude. Is your hand okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I was wearing the glove, thankfully, and he uh, bit down on the glove. Some of the teeth got through a little bit. I'll just get some sanitizer on it or something and get it cleaned up. But man, there for a second, I almost died of a heart attack. Sorry, I left so quickly. I just. No, 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 out. you did the right thing. I got a call from this lady one time. She had some open vents on her roof line. Snake got in there tracking some rats, and in the middle of the night while she was sleeping, the snake came out of the attic, right through a ceiling fan, and dropped in on her bed and woke her up. Can you imagine being woke up by a six-foot rat snake? Go for it. All right, you little bastard, here you go. Now, Ricky's gonna go ahead and let this snake back into the wild, far away from Tiger Creek and Jamie's bedroom. Hey, uh, we went ahead all over the park, okay. checked all the mouse traps, got them cleared out. I'm gonna close that hole up underneath. So I think we're good at this point. Awesome, you thank it. you guys so much. I really, really do appreciate you're you guys getting welcome. this snake out of my room. Oh, you're yeah. welcome. Fortunately for me, Billy is okay. Luckily, um, the snake is out of my house and hopefully we won't have any returning. <laughs> All right, guys, everybody stay back. I'm gonna sneak up on this guy. I got one shot at him. I don't wanna blow it. Good okay. luck. All right, guys, here I go. Snakes can be so camouflaged, man. They look just like sticks. I have to sit here and check every single stick out looking for him. I've already found a snake skin down here in the water, so I know he's here for sure. Most snakes shed their skin four to eight times per year. During this time, the snake's vision is impaired, which causes them to get unpredictable and even aggressive. Definitely smelling. When agitated or threatened, snakes give off a strong odor of musk. Usually the smell discourages any would-be predators, but in this case, it's helping me to zero right in to where this snake is hiding. Boom, mm, got him. 
From my current vantage point, I can't tell you if this snake is poisonous, but I'm not about to take any chances either. This area is a perfect habitat for all kinds of deadly snakes. Got it. Got the first one, and let's see what it is. Whoa! I'm lost him! Everybody get back! So I thought I had this snake in my tongs, and then he slithered right out, and this guy was quick, so I had to make it fast grab for him. Got him. But I almost lost him, man. It's a uh, copperhead. This is definitely, definitely venomous. You can tell a venomous snake from a non-venomous one by looking at its eyes. If the pupils are round like a person's, the snake is non-poisonous. But if they're slitted like a cat's, then it's poisonous. Look, venomous snakes are dangerous, especially little ones. Little ones have no control on the amount of venom they're gonna release. You can actually get a dry bite from an adult snake where they bite you and do not inject venom. However, these little ones like this, they will definitely inject all the venom they've got. I'm gonna go ahead and use this bucket and get him out of here immediately. Ooh, man, he's nasty. Well, the one I called you about, he's... he's that ain't tense. him, that right? That ain't him, no, all right. no sir. That's All right, I'm going back in. I'm going to try to find the one we're looking for. Did you catch him? Even though I caught that copperhead, I've still got to catch that big snake. So it's back to the pond to try to find this guy. But I've got to keep my eyes open. As I've just learned, this pond has got some nasty surprises. Three right I there, see him, though. guys. All right, look, man, I finally found this snake. He's big, he's dangerous, and he's got the advantage. I got to go down into a hole about two and a half feet, drag him out of there. Woo! Got his ass. There he is. God almighty, I see him. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's non-poisonous, though. This one is just a yellow-bellied water snake. They get very big, they are very aggressive, and have a nasty bite. Thinking I only had one snake, I only brought one cooler down here for transport. But since I had to put the copperhead in it, now I've got to carry this big guy back to my truck with my bare hands. Be careful, Billy. I got ah, him. He bit me. Dang. Just because a snake isn't poisonous doesn't mean he's not dangerous. His bite may not be venomous, but it's still loaded with lots of dangerous bacteria. Is it swelling up? Luckily, it's not a deep bite, so once I disinfect the area, I'm going to be just fine. But I can't really say that the same would be true if he bit one of the horses, since they don't exactly carry first aid kits. Dude, you got this kind of attitude problem? I got to get you out of here. You're lucky I'm going to relocate you and then I got a good heart. All right, man, I'm gonna go secure this snake. Well, thank you, Billy, for getting two snakes out of here. No problem, we had to get the big one out too. He's got a powerful bite, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> now that I've got the snakes out of the Davis's pond, I need to get them relocated. But first, it's time for a little show and tell. Sure, oh my God, what do you guys have? Well, I got this one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, keep it away from me. I hate those things. Poor Miss Davis, she sees me walking up with this big four and a half foot snake. She had a heart attack, took off running. I wish I could tell you he doesn't bite, but I would be lying. <gasps> He's got my blood in his mouth. He bit me in the hand. Are so. their friends still down there? I think I got him cleared out. I spent a lot of time down there, went through everything. Y'all only knew of one snake, I found two. Now I'm glad you got him. You can have Adam. All right. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, Mark, how Billy. you doing? Good to see you. I'm Mark Smith, here today to show Billy where the nutrients are damaging our property. Well, Mom just called me and told me you were having an interesting problem. Yeah, the Nutria are back. All right, well, I'll check on that. Mark's been battling several Nutria for almost eight years now, and every time he thinks he has them licked, they turn up again. I hope this time we lick them for good. Billy, I tell you, it's just gotten worse and worse. Right here. Wow. I was like walking yeah, along here, and all of a sudden, just squaring it. Boom, and watch this. Watch how far this goes. I think there's not a snake in there. 
Nutrias dig these big basketball-sized holes where they make their dens and have their babies. Trees cave in, people lose a lot of property quick. What I'm doing right now is wiring these uh, traps open, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, the fruits kind of around the trap to get the Nutrias used to feeding around them and comfortable. And then when they think it's all safe, then bam, we got them. Nutria are aquatic animals, very much like our friend the beaver. They spend most of their lives in the water. I'm taking these apples and I'm crushing them, mainly because it's easier for the animal to eat it and enjoy it. Well, I got the new trap set, so now I'm gonna try to catch myself some nutrients. Got a call from the office that there's something caught in my traps out here. Let's see what we got here. Ah, me damn, look at that. Two nutrients in the water. All right. What's up, dude? Dude, jumping around like that ain't gonna do nothing but bust your head wide open. So you need to chill, dude. Oh, you wanna you wanna ball for me? Ah, to yourself, dude. Uh-oh. This one almost got away. Look at that. My trap. Damn, he was fighting. If you don't check your trap setting, check every detail, you could lose your animal. They got these huge freaking teeth, man. They could take your finger off for sure if you get it in there. And they got these webbed feet for swimming. And part of the problem with it um, that Mark was having is he's losing soil off the back of the shoreline on his property here because these dudes using them webbed hands, they're digging and pushing all that soil out into the lake. And that's why the back of the property is collapsing. These dudes are fantastic diggers. I'm gonna go ahead and take these two, relocate them to a more suitable property. Boy, you like me, don't you? Keep looking at me. As I was removing the nutria, I noticed some netting that Mark had laid down to try to catch the nutria himself. When you leave an old trap laying around, something's gonna find its way into it. You really should make sure to remove all old traps. Uh, it's a water snake, and he's about to die. I don't know what happened to him. An added bonus is I had a snake. At first, I thought he was dead. He wiggled a little bit, I cut him out of the net, and then when I started to free him a little more, he bit me in the finger. Ah, that hurt like hell! See, I got a snake bite there. And you know, the dude got hung up in this net. Snake gets caught into the net by accident. Billy tries to be a nice guy and free the snake. Snake bites Billy in the finger. Piss me off. You know what? I'm still gonna let this guy loose. Fortunately, that was not a poisonous snake. It was a yellow-bellied water snake, which are very common in this area. They're good for the environment, and they actually are good to have around because they kill rodents. So since this snake's not poisonous, I'm gonna go ahead and let this little guy go back into the wild. I'm finally able to grab the gator, and instantly he starts freaking out. He is not happy about being drugged out of this water and wants to fight me every step of the way. Oh, he's heavy. 